Here it goes. Thursdays because that means nightcap. Yeah, well, sometimes it means Wednesday too, right? Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday. We just move it around to keep people, you know, on their toes. You know, I'm thinking tonight might be a good night for a, a mic check. Yeah, I think I, I think so too. <laughs> yes, a mic check is a good thing. So uh, I'm gonna do this. Ready? Uh, test one, two, three. How's that? Testing, testing, testing. Why, why do we need a mic check tonight? Tonight, uh -huh. I don't understand. Because you know, it's the nightcap uh, musical version. Oh, the musical version. Uh, <laughs> explain that to me. Well, we've been inspired. We've done shows about drinks. We've done shows about uh, all kinds of things. But we got to thinking, you know, Scott and I, and a lot of times when we're in the middle of uh, Boxer, and, can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. In the middle of Boxer and we'll sing to each other. So we're like, wait a minute, what if we, because usually the songs, I would say, Scott, come out of moments of extreme, like, excitement, or, you know, we, we'd say, hey, Scott, close on a deal. You, know, you get excited and you sing as a celebration. We're like, wait a minute, certain you songs. You sing as a celebration normally? Yeah, I sing. Come on, I, a little known fact about you is uh, you're quite the karaoke champ, I heard. I've done a little karaoke, uh, done a little wedding singing. <laughs> the Wedding Singer, one of my most favorite movies. Right, right. But, you know, this is quite out of character for me to be singing uh, in front of 30,000 people. I think it's 35,000 tonight. Oh, is it 35? Yeah, because I think that's what it was projected to be was 30,000, but I'm sure we're a little bit over that. So, I don't know, I might need a little liquid courage. Me too, by the way, it's I special. Apologize for this messy office. I'm redoing ah. it. Anyway, yes. How about some liquid courage? Oh, let's do it. Together, you and I. So what are we going to do? What's it called? Well, I have never in my life, in all my 43 years, done a, done a boiler maker. Boiler maker? Did, did, have you done a boiler maker? Never done a boiler maker. It's a, it's a shot of whiskey, and you drop it in your beer. Your beer. Your beer. Is it going to like overflow and come all there are, different, there are different kinds of boiler, boiler makers. All right. So uh, just so the community knows, like I just learned tonight that uh, if you have a bourbon, you should drop it into a Pilsner. If you have like a rye whiskey, you should drop it into a wheat or amber ale. So here you go. You ready? Is it going to like flow everywhere? I don't know what's going to happen. Here we go. Oh, hell. Whoa, that goes off my lyrics. It's really good, but it literally just destroyed all of my musical lyrics. <laughs> now it's going to be not only a cappella, if that's how you say it, but off the top of my head. That's awesome. Yeah, that's probably not too smart, huh? That's not awesome. <laughs> we, we, should, we should have done that away from the... Uh, away, away from, from the from lyrics. The electronic oh, good. So... As always, though, we will tie this into the land business because, after all, this show is primarily about two things, fun and land investing. Uh, yes. Sure and I'm not sure. We should tell people also how, uh, how this all came about. So okay. uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were in boot camp in Scottsdale, and uh, Mike and I have been bomb bombing people. It's kind of a video message, which we like because yes. it's just a little bit more interactive. So. Uh, there was a particular, uh, gal we were talking to. Her name is Aileen. Aileen. Aileen de Augustine. And, uh, 
Mike and I were just talking. We thought it might be funny to, to kind of bomb bomb her together and maybe sing, you know, that song, Come On Eileen. Yes. It's actually, yeah. But so we sang it to her and we actually pronounced her name wrong. So even though we did. The song sing, led to that. It wasn't our fault. The song inspired us to mispronounce her name. Right. Exactly. So, so we did sing to Aileen, although we pronounced it Eileen. What and did we, we say? Promised her, we promised her that we would sing again. Is this the opening song? So this is what inspired Boot uh, Nightcap the Musical is this song right here. Aileen, I hope you're watching. If you're not, the call is recorded. Just like, <laughs> just like in flight school, which you will be starting in just a few weeks. I'm very excited for you. So Aileen. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Let me hear it. In all 30,000 fans. 35. Here is your song. Here, is your song. Okay. Here, hold on. I need to uh, need to find my note. I need to find my note here. A G is what this is starting on. Ready? Yes. <clears throat> I'm nervous. No, <laughs> this no. It's very unlike me. Just walk into okay. this one. This this is the introductory song. This can be very simple and low key. All right. Keep focused oh, on me, Scott. Oh, I swear you are green when it comes to land investing. Scott Todd is the best. Oh, my thoughts, I confess. After flight school, you will be killing it. Do ra, do ra, do ra, do ra, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. There See? you go, Aileen. You got your song. What a way to start it out. I love it. That's so how let's talk got. about that. So we're talking, you're basically talking about how the power of flight school is conveyed in that song, I think is what you're talking about, right? That's exactly right. So uh, what a, I think there is a misconception out there that uh, you need to do something else before you do flight school, but that's just not true. Like flight school is for beginners, right? The investor toolkit is for beginners. Flight school is for beginners. It's just flight school is a little bit more quick. You know, and the interesting thing is that flight school is also for those who are not beginners as we've, you know, we found to be over, you know, we have people that come to us that are already land investing, already doing well. I, and uh, it made me kind of thought that, geez, uh, you know, I don't need to go over the basics again, but you're learning how Scott Todd builds his actual business model. I call it the Lego blocks, right? Remember the kids when we were, when we were kids, you Lego block it. Every one of his 11 core segments is a Lego block putting together to oh. finally builds this, this system. So I don't care how many deals you've done, you, you're going to learn from this process. Yeah, that's so true. How many people do we hear from all the time? They've, they've been doing this business for a year, three years, five years, and then they go to flight school and they're like, this is amazing. Yes. Is, I don't know. It just, uh, Scott Todd's so forthcoming with his information. He's very transparent, shows you how he's running his business and it just really helps move things forward. So. Right, right. Very cool. Come on, Aileen. Come on, Aileen. So, Mike. Yes. I think it I think it might be your turn to sing. Oh, my turn to sing. Well, I'm going to go with a song. You know, it's commonly an, a very uh, uh, not known, right? That Air Supply actually had a song that would help us with our business. Did you know that? I did not know that Air Supply. We know that song commonly mispronounced, I'm all out of love. Well, it's really... Yeah. I'm all out of land. I'm so lost without you. I know I was wrong. Not mailing for so long. I'm all out of land. I'm so lost without you. I know I was wrong. Not mailing for so long. Get it? Yes. That's air supply. They're telling us what? I'm all out of land. What? Deal flow. Deal flow solves everything. What? There it is. What? Deal flow. Yeah. Solves everything. There's the sign. Deal flow. But you don't get deal flow. No deal flow. No go without mailing. Without mailing. Right. That's You're exactly right. Man. So lost without you. I know I was wrong. Not mailing for so long. You have to mail. 
What if I have a couple of deals come in? I can stop mailing now, right, Scott? Yeah. I can stop mailing. Oh, you said stop? I thought you said start. I thought you said stop. You say stop? Did you say stop? It's my accent. Can I stop ma- Stop. No, <laughs> I can't even say you it. You do not want to stop mailing, Mike. You want to keep mailing. But I got a couple of deals. No, keep mailing because uh, pretty soon you're going to be out. Of, you're going to be out of deal flow, and then you're you're going to hit a you're going to hit a lull in the activity. And you know, if you don't so have deal flow, you got nothing. It's the backbone of our business, right? Well, county research, but you know, deal flow solves everything. You get you don't get any deal flow without mailing. Right, right. Yeah. So, I have a little song about county research and mailing. You do. That's um, coincidental. Boy, we got a lot of activity here. We we have uh, we have some questions. Should we answer those? Yeah, questions? yeah. Let's go in here. We have actually people watching tonight. Yeah, there's quite a few people watching. Um, let's see here. Oh, why is Aaron asking where I am? Where you're in your new office, uh, Mike Michael Aileon. Mike, you've got to tell me how to pronounce that last name. Series that's kill. It's been killing me for three months. Uh, Mike wants to know what's covered in flight school that's not covered in boot camp. Mike Zano. Well, well, we do have a song about boot camp, but that's for later. Uh, but the reality is boot camp, as Mark Podolsky correctly describes it, is drinking from a fire hose. So you go all day Friday, all day Saturday, half day Sunday. It's like the fire hose information comes at you. You know, I say wherever you are in this land business, new or experienced, you will come away with something from the boot camp. It's just, <clears throat> if you don't know how to crawl, you're not gonna learn how to run, right? You have, it's wherever you are. If you're focusing on the beginning part of this business, that's where you're gonna glean, you're gonna get the most information because you're gonna be ready to understand that, right? So wherever you are. So the flight school though, no, it, it is, it's, it's a four month process when you take it all together, right? This is a very detailed, you know what to do, you know when to do it, you have, the guru, you have Scott Todd, the professor, I guess we call him now, the last round table, leading you, and you just know what to do and when to do it. It's completely different. It's at a it's at a pace that will work for you. That's why we have it set up in that structure. Yeah, and the structure mirrors a land deal. So as you're going through this 12 to 16 week coaching program, it is it is mirroring a land deal, which is really amazing. I mean, you you start out mailing, you go to due diligence, you go to marketing, you go to selling. And by the end of flight school, people are doing deals and sometimes, you know, making back their investment in a couple of land deals. So back to mailing. You got something you want to say about mailing, Scott? So, well, first of all, I want to, I, I just want to uh, relay that um, this, this song is very special to me because my first ever concert I went to with my grandma and I was seven years old. And the opener was, I can't remember right now. I'll think of it later. But the, the, the concert was Kenny Rogers. Oh, man. There were two favorite songs of mine when I was growing up. One was uh, Elvira by the Oak Ridge Boys. Yeah. And the other one was this. Let's hear it. <laughs> You gotta know. Oh wait, I got. I gotta change the lyrics to Land Geek. So, you gotta know how to get the list. Know how to scrub it. Know how to mail merch. Know how to mail. You never spend your money. When the chain is clouded, there'll be time enough for spending. When the day is done. Nice, dude. Yeah. Cool. A little, little bit of mail, a due diligence in there. Kenny Rogers, that guy's one bad dude. And, you know, I used to like watching his little movies there, and uh, it's just cool. I yeah, he had a he had a bunch of TV movies that were awesome, westerns, and then uh, I love his duet with Dolly Parton, "Islands in the Stream." We'll save that for the next one. <laughs> I'll be Dolly. <laughs> what did I say? Something? I don't know. So. <laughs> I, I don't know, Mike. So back really? to the tell me about that song a little bit. Let's break it down. There's some there's some so some real I mean, it's all, advice it's, in there. Yeah, I mean it's a song for uh, 
everybody who is starting out this business and they're experiencing all the pain of knowing how to get a list, knowing how to scrub the list, knowing like how to create a system to like send those mailers out. So with the investor toolkit, you have to create those systems on your own. The flight school, it's already done for you. So your return on time invested, is so much better. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just knowing how to mail, how to price your offers. And then once you get some responses back, doing your due diligence, you got to make sure the chain is not, the, the, the chain of title is not clouded. You got to make sure that you're not, getting landitis and frivolously throwing your money at something that maybe isn't the best idea. That's so, tough though, right? You know, that, that's a, what's tough about that is if you don't consistently mail, you don't have a ton of deal flow, you, you have what Scott calls, I gotta have landitis, and then you get a deal with a little bit of problems, taxes too high, you know, there's something funny about the way that can be conveyed title, like you said, cloud, but you really want it because it's really all you have going for you. And uh, it's just difficult. Is that a donut next to you? I'm getting really hungry. Does that look at you? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a clay sculpture that our son made. I'm suddenly craving a Dunkin' Donut. I keep my paper clips in it. <laughs> so if you don't have a lot of deal flow, you're going to have like, I got to have landitis, right? Following. And then you're going to worry about this whole, like you said, we go for the low lying fruit, right? We, there's so many out there. I, I think that uh, the only way to really not be pressured into a deal is by massive deal flow, which is massive mailings. So that's a great, that song, his cheers. What was your grandma's name? My grandma's name is Annette, Grandma Fadna. She is now 90 years old. She's an inspiration to me. She Let's to her because she's to grandma. awesome. Here's to grandma. Here's the grandma. And my mom just joined. Mom, you'll have to go back and watch, but I, I just talked about my my first Kenny Rogers concert with Grandma Fodness. So that was awesome. I think I'll look and, and, and when I hold the cup up, my wife was watching downstairs and we realize it's refill time. So that's why I just did that. That's you know, that boiler maker was pretty good. I've never had a boiler maker yes. before. Yes, I think that's gonna be a new uh, a, a new drink. I think so too. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. Is it my turn? Well, I, you know, uh, you know segment. Yeah, we're talking about uh, we're talking about mailing. We're talking about due diligence. We're talking about well, they're really what five plates, right? That Scott Todd talks about, or or five swiveling chairs that. Oh yeah, we like to call it the swivel. Remember that? Yes, <laughs> I like it. I think you're leading me into my song. Right. Yes. So I feel like I gotta. I wish. No, the tough thing tonight, folks, is that there's so many different songs and they have different tunes to them. It's like, It's right? difficult to transition to the next tune. It's difficult to transition, but I think this one, because uh, I think little known fact, too, about Bon Jovi, they also sang about our business. Did they really? And they're from your area, New Jersey. Pretty close. Yes. New Jersey. Wait a minute. I think Laura was what? Look at that. She was watching the show, and here comes my beer. Oh, uh, beer segment. Well, I'm not ready yet. Well, Matt Forbes isn't even here tonight. Can you wait a sec? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just I'm inspired. I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll go on to my. Uh, so listen, I got a song. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi uh, definitely made up a song to help us with our business. So. This actually is about the five plates, and you know it really references. Uh, um, and this is a tribute song to uh, Scott Todd. Oh, and those of you who are in flight school, I think there might be some of you watching tonight. I know Scott Todd's there tonight because he loves a good musical, and and a good and, and a good uh, not uh, what do you call that? Uh, what's the drink there? I know his drink. Come on, what is it? Uh, he likes, no, he likes the pina colada. Pina colada, that's what it was. Yes. <laughs> so Scott Todd, if you're watching, Bon Jovi has a song for you. Nice. And it goes like this. I'll be there for you. These five plates I'll teach to you. If you don't mail, swing a bat at you. I'll be there for you. I built LG Pass for you, Land Moto and Accountant too. I gave up my nights for you. I'll be there for you. 
Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. Scott, you better say something if you were there. That's your song, man. That's amazing. You know, I just saw Bon Jovi sing that song in front of however many thousand people. It was amazing. Not as many thousand who just saw that one. I think that? More, more people just saw this than that, though. Well, yeah. Because we got about 35,000 dedicated. 35,000 is what I was told when we, when we hopped <laughs> on board here. So. <laughs> That's that awesome. was the Scott Todd. Good work. That was really good. All right. Thank you. Deal closer. Scott Todd, he'll comment later. He's in the dark. <laughs> He's in the dock. He's so the dock. Uh, how do you think the episode's going? What should we should we check the uh, comments? I'm kind of nervous, but go ahead. Uh, let me know. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Barbara Thibodeau said uh Oh, the dreaded landitis. She got she got over that though. That's good. And then uh, we just got some comments about uh, nobody's really saying anything about singing. Uh oh. I don't know if that's good or bad. Mm. Um, oh, Aaron says this is just outstanding. Uh, awesome, thank you, Aaron. Laura Zano says you kill me. Oh, I hope that's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, epic Scott Cott, Scott Todd tribute. There's Aileen. She did uh, join in. So Aileen, I hope you saw your song, uh, listen to your song. It's right at the beginning. So here we go. Anyway, so uh, I should probably share my song about due diligence. What you got? What you got? So my my favorite band is U2. I mean, U2. You too? You too? Me too? You too, but you too. You too? Oh, you too. You too. And you know, isn't there, is it, I made me remember this. I remember growing up, I wasn't a huge fan of this because I didn't really listen to a lot of music, but didn't they do like some kind of impromptu concert, like on a rooftop or somewhere? Yeah. That's real, right? Yeah, it was real and they filmed a video of it. And uh, I think it was Where the Streets Have No Name down in downtown L.A., so, and they've actually replicated that a few times, which is kind of cool. Very but, cool. Uh, back in 2005, I went to the U2 concert and I got like, I got escorted down to the front area. I was like 10 feet away from Bono. It was amazing. Really? Yeah. How'd you get so close? Um, I think I was like a U2.com member or something. I got a little special pass and I got to You're go. like this? Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah, I'm Scott Bossman. Scott Bossman, official YouTube member. <laughs> member. So anyway, this song is uh, all about due diligence. Let's hear it. And uh, kind of county research, but yeah, kind of county research, actually. You got me intrigued. I'm ready. All right, let me see. I got to play my A. 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 I have climbed highest mountains. I have run through the fields only to find some land. Nice. Only to find some land. I have scoured county websites. I have researched land moto only to find some land. Only to find some land, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Cheers! That was but awesome. I still haven't, I haven't found, found what I'm looking, looking for. for. <laughs> Dude, awesome! You know, that's the beautiful thing about this business is that there's so many places, like people worry about scarcity, my call it scarcity mentality. There's just so much land out there, so many places. Yes, it's good to dig into one area. Scott Todd preaches it because it's true. You can build that buyer's list up, but there's just so much out there. We're not gonna over, we're not gonna saturate this. There's, there's nothing, nothing like that's gonna happen. Nothing like that is gonna happen. And I always tell the story about how after my first boot camp, I did not want to wear my Land Geek t-shirt anywhere. And this is funny, actually, I've never told this. Mark actually gave us a few extra t-shirts at the end of that boot camp uh, for the boys because he had some left over. So I remember telling Ben, my now 13-year-old, 
that I didn't want him wearing it to his elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why? Because I was scared. I thought somebody was going to buy all of the land out there. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. Now I wear my Land Geek t-shirt everywhere because I want people to experience what we are experiencing because the, the market is so unbelievably massive. You can't even get your head around it. It's crazy. No, no. can't. Dude, that was a great song. Great tribute to you two. <laughs> right. <laughs> great tribute. To Do we you. have the refill now so I can continue drinking? What's that? There's, no, there's no Matt Forbes tonight. Yeah, where's Matt? I don't know. We still got some great songs. Everybody, don't go anywhere because you just might be featured in the next song. Some of you watching. Mike, I do have a uh, Facebook quote of the week. Should we uh, pull that up? Is it okay if I take my refill drink at the same time? Yeah, here's my refill. Cheers to you. Uh, Cheers to good singing. Amazing job so far this evening. I just want to say that. You too. And the way it Uh, relates. Yeah, okay. you too. <laughs> and the way it relates to the business. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, this may be the start of something. Like, I'm thinking this, this, I mean, I don't think we should do it every week. That would spoil no. everyone. But, uh, you know, at least quarterly. <laughs> Anyway, right. I'm going to pull up the Facebook quote of the week. Facebook quote of the week. That way I can get the voice clear for the next next song. Well, I think you have the next song, though, if I'm not mistaken. So this, is, uh, this is from Larry Overstreet. And Larry, if you guys don't know, Larry has recently retired, downsized significantly, sold his house. Nice. He's touring the country in an RV with his wife. And I think he has a dog. And uh, they're traveling the country, and he's working the land business in his RV. Which Larry. I think we love you, Larry. We love you, Larry. Larry, I aspire to be you after my boys leave this home. So, here Larry Overstreet says, "Encouragement for today. I just got an email from a buyer that included the following. Excuse me. Quote. And by the way, <laughs> this is live." The pictures on your website do not do justice to how nice this property really is. I could not be more pleased. Larry says, we really have the opportunity to improve people's lives when we bring the right people and the right land together. Now get out there and do your daily M&Ms. Larry over the street. Boom. Very nice. That, That was an epic comment right there. I've had people say that to me like, you know, Sometimes I just put pictures of, uh, you know, of the area. In if my I want to sell land, I put a picture of Scott Bossman out there, and I say, he'll be there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he'll show you my land. This is the guy who shows you my land. Do you want to buy it now? <laughs> oh, Lord. What's our next song? Larry's watching, by the way. I know he is. Larry's awesome. Larry is uh, a – Larry, I, Larry, I've got to tell you, on the show – I'm not sure if we can have you on again because you sound way too good. Like you have like the podcast voice, the podcast mic. You make me a little jealous and a little nervous. So we'll see. <laughs> Actually, Larry, after after our uh, Land Geek interview with you, our Nightcap interview with you, Mike went out and bought a microphone to be a little bit more like you, just so you know. Yeah, this is my Larry Overstreet dedication microphone. <laughs> Scott. So, you know what? Something I want to touch on, Mike. (laughs) You know, uh, when people get into this business, they need support. Yes. From their family, from their spouses. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the only one, I don't think, who came home one night after listening to a Mark Podolsky on a podcast and said, honey, this is what we're doing. And they look at you like you're crazy. Cray cray. That's what they say. To kids. kids say cray cray. But uh, she was, she has been with me all the way. She uh, actually, she went into this somewhat trepidatiously. Is that a word? That's a good word. It is now because you said it. It is now somewhat trepidatiously. And we went to a boot camp and 
And she, she was like, we are doing this. And I was like, I don't know. Um, and uh, so I just want to dedicate this Bon Jovi song oh. to my wife, oh. Aaron Bossman. And I should say that this may be my favorite song of all time. Oh. I do this at karaoke quite often. Is it Lady Gaga? After a few of these. So wait, let's see. I got to play my A. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh. I wonder how many viewers we have. Do you think we have like two? <laughs> no, we have the most ever. We have like 500. All right. Well, yes, Laura, he is so sweet. We, I didn't know we were dedicating songs. Laura, to Mike, that was, lost you. That, that was, that was unknown. Or else I would have dedicated the song to you too. She's, she says we got to hold on to what we got. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We got each other and that's a lot for love. We'll give it a shot. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, live nice. Take my hand. And we'll make it, I swear. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm an idiot. No, but you're a very uh, sweet idiot. Because now you just want a whole bunch of points by saying your wife's song. And at the same time, made me look like, Mike, That's where's your true. song? Where's your song, Mike? You, you know what, though, Mike? Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, what? Mike Zeno, you would not be where you are today without Laura Zeno. That's true. She's it's awesome. totally true. She's amazing. She you is. Know that. She knows that. Even got me my new sign. Yeah, that's amazing. That's awesome. She is amazing. Laura, you're amazing. I don't have a song for you, though. <laughs> Come on. I don't have a song ready for you. I have songs that we enjoy together, clearly. All right. What songs, what songs do you enjoy together? Am I putting you on the spot? You're putting me on the spot. I'll, I'll be there, there for you. you. Huh? I'll be there for you. That's an amazing song. Actually, Laura's pretty good at karaoke. Yeah? Yes. All right. We got to do that next time. So what do we got next? Well, I think what we have next is, um, if I'm looking at the itinerary, we got another song. And this song, I may be up. It might be uh, my turn. Is this the uh, Boot Camp Community song? Yeah, well, we got, some, we got a few songs about the community. Because do you know what, Mike? I really think the Landgate community is second to none. Like, is there a group of better people on earth who... Just, I mean, they do so many things for each other. They cheer each other on. They give each other advice. They hold each other accountable. Our community are, is, is amazing. I always tell people it's one thing. You go to boot camp. Another thing about boot camp is we have some just really successful people looking for other ways to create passive income. And um, we just have a great community of people. We truly do. We really do. And, and everybody has their own gifts. You know, somebody might have a, uh, you know, a gift with technology or marketing or sales or just a really cool story, or they might be a freaking awesome firefighter from Boston and they just kind of all come together. And they, as you say, the glass ceiling is raised for everybody. And we kind of all push each other forward. We all move forward together because right. we all really, if you really think about it, if you just simplify things, we have this, we have similar goals of financial freedom and time freedom. Yeah. And, uh, we all we all move forward together with that. It's awesome. Love it. Love it. So, in that note, I think we're going to talk about John Denver. Oh, I love John Denver. 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 What you got? You using the? Oh, he's impressing everybody with his standing desk. I'm not impressing right? anyone. I need to stand. I'm a physical therapist, and my my back hurts. <laughs> I so. Mean, all right, John Denver, I believe, wrote this song, 500 Miles, and little known fact, it's about boot camp. 
It you is? That? You didn't know that. <laughs> That's awesome. It's uh maybe you guys know this one. Ready? Uh good morning, boot camp Hawaii. Saying, don't you know we'll make land investing fun? We'll do deals to late in the evening and wake up to more deals when the morning comes. Nice. That's that awesome. Dillon. Talking about land investing. Boot camp's amazing. Mark goes through that deal process over and over and over again. People are like, the Mark says the clouds dissipate. It's true. Uh, it, you know, it's drinking from a fire hose, but it's a lot of the same process over and over again. You get better at it. That was awesome. Was it, really? it really was. John Denver. John Denver. Uh, one of my favorite songs is Old Country Roads. I, I learned how to play that on the little ukulele in uh, sixth grade. Can you play the ukulele? In sixth grade, I could. Not now. Can we bring sixth grade Scott Bosman on the show, please? Yeah, maybe. I'll like, give it a ukulele and we'll play. I like the ukulele. The ukulele. You know what I think we need right now, Mike? What? I think we need the Boston Leia segment. <laughs> and, and you know what? This is going to be a good one because it's an extension of last week. Okay. But uh, it's also a combination of Boston Lega and where is it? And you complete me. Maybe. So, the Boston Lake story. And I'm told that's a love story, that Jerry Maguire. That's a love story. You got it. So, the Boston Lake segment is what is where the community learns a new Boston wood. And, uh, yeah, wood. And uh, it's, it's commonly mispronounced by 99% of America. I mean, by 1% of America and 99% pronounce it correctly. But anyway, uh, the Boston Lagos segment tonight is going to be in song. All right. You ready? So you need to complete me. I need to complete a song? Yeah, you need to complete this song. Oh. This is right. unplanned, isn't it? I got gotcha. you. Let's do it. Yeah, I would. I should start the song from the beginning, but we're running out of time. So I'm going to cut right to the chorus. You ready? Yeah. Hold on. Let me get my... I got a visual aid that I need to get ready. Here we go. Ready? I think so. You got to fight for, for your right to party. To party. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fight for your right to party. Yes. Oh, party. Man. You better go right to the next song. <laughs> You got to tell me that was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. The Boston Lega segment. You got to fight for your right to potty. I could hear my wife laughing in the other room. <laughs> oh, my God. That is phenomenal. Danielle Clark thinks that's funny. Oh, you know what? Danielle, since you are watching. This is the time. Do it. We have something very special for you. Uh-oh. We really do. Uh, you know what, Mike, say a few words about Danielle, if you will. Well, I always say this is a common phrase I use. Danielle Dybal is the magic behind the scenes making everything happen, making us all look good. She's just phenomenal. She organizes everything. Um, um, we constantly bug her, and she always responds with a, with a happy voice and a smile. So she's just amazing. And uh, – can't wait to see her in Texas. That's coming soon. My, one of my favorite boot camps. So I, I'd have to say my wife would agree with me is when we go to Texas. Just love Texas. Yeah, you usually get a big old 10 gallon hat and strut around. In your I got car. boots last time. I got a jacket. Fancy. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm basically Texan now. Little known fact. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. Your voice says it. Uh, Danielle, you. <laughs> I don't think I don't think people know that Danielle Dyball is. I think she is the glue that holds much of this community together. She uh, cheers to that, right? She uh, she works hard during the week to make sure everyone is satisfied, no matter where you are in your journey. If you're starting with the investor toolkit, if you're in flight school, if you're in one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you're me and Mike bothering her about whatever issue there is she keeps you happy 
and uh, she's amazing. So, Danielle, this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Love this. Hands, typing hands, reaching out, calling me, emailing you. Sweet Danielle. Ba, ba, ba. Good times never seem so good. So good. So good. <laughs> I'd be inclined ba, ba, ba. to believe they never would. Oh, no, no. Oh, that is awesome. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Dude, nicely done. Danielle, we love you. You're awesome. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, a good one. Dude. I love it. I love it. Mike, how are you doing over there? You doing all right? Yeah, I just, you amazed. I'm trying to think who the actor is. You look like one of my favorite. I just don't know his name. If anybody's seen Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp, the guy who plays the Headless Horseman, what's his name? Scott Bossman is reminding me of him. He's one of my favorite actors. <laughs> the Headless Horseman. Thanks, Mike. That's a compliment. <laughs> who's, who's the, honey, honey, since you're watching, can you look up on that IMDb site? Who plays the Headless Horseman in Sleepy Hollow? And she'll tell us. Awesome. All right, uh, let's see here. Oh, we got a couple of things left. We might as well get right to them, huh? No, we might as well get right through them. So let's hold on. Uh, Michael uh, A. Young. Michael, you're killing me. You got to tell me. Uh, seriously, it's driving me crazy. Christopher Walker. Thank you, Philip. Oh, well, I don't look like Christopher Walker. Laura's saying Tom Misson. What is she saying? Who's that, Laura? Is that even I've that? been told I look like Anthony... Uh, What's who's the kid in Sixteen Candles? Yeah, I've been told. I've been told I look like Boris Becker. <laughs> anyway, we have a few songs left to sing. Mike. All right, what we got? What we got? So you know, we we already we already touched on this a little bit earlier, but but we talked about how the land geek community is really second to none, and it really is kind of a family. And I think you have a special song prepared. Can you see that right now, everybody? Based on, based on the picture that is shown right now. Can you see it, Scott? I can see it. Hold on just a second. There's a little delay in the Facebook uh, group. There we go. Yep. Yep. The Facebook group can see it. So this is what I see, right, Scott? When we do round table, it's what I see. And every time we do round table, the same thought comes to my brain. Only I think it. I can't get, I don't know. Is it okay if I go with it? I think you should just roll with it. <laughs> everyone will, will definitely appreciate what you're saying. Okay, so here we go. Here's a story of a man named Podolsky buying land all over the world. <laughs> oh, bar and bacon, it's undeveloped. That's when he found his pearl. It's a story of a man called Scott Todd who was busy with a full-time job of his own. <laughs> he was a hater and wanted to get out on his own till the one day Podolsky met this fellow and he knew it was much more than a hunch. That's how we became the Land Geek Bunch. The, the Land Geek Bunch. bunch. Da -da -da. The, the Land Geek Bunch. bunch. Da -da -da. That's the way we became the Land Geek Bunch. Yes! That was awesome. I can't help but think that every time I see it, people are probably like, what the heck was that? That, that is so true. That is awesome. <laughs> the Land Geek Bunch. Oh, man. yeah. Eric Peterson's in there. Land Geek. Is he here? Yes. Yeah, he's there. Yep. Come on, Eric. Let's see it. Yep. Eric, you're part of the Land Geek Bunch. Don't you want to do it? Oh, Eric, gosh. you can't show me when you're on the round table. You don't want to look up, look left, look right. It's like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Uh, so, okay, Michael Michael said, he, he actually typed out how we need to pronounce his name. Ale Lawn. Ale Lawn. Hi, Jeannie. 
Eric Peterson, uh, yep. We're like sail on without the S, ail on. Thank you so much, Michael, because that has bothered me for much, months. Michael Elon. I like that a lot. Uh, the Landy Bunch, Daniel Dayball likes that. Uh, Scott looks like the actor Michael Rooker. I don't know who that is. Must be a really good looking guy. Uh, Michael Elon says, wow, you guys really spent a long time on this tonight. Bravo, bravo. Not a long time. A little time. <laughs> we felt the pressure, Michael. Like, when we told Mike, when we told Mark we were doing Land Geek the Musical, uh, Nightcap the Musical, that was uh, a little pressure. So anyway, where are we at, my friend? Well, you have uh, a tribute song to someone. You got two songs left, right? Right. One of them, you know, we did a Mark Podolsky tribute. You have one that I, I think you do really well, and I can't wait to hear it again. We kind of have two Mark Podolsky tributes, so... But this one is kind of uh, my tribute to Mark. And then uh, one was actually Mark had a request tonight. Yeah. And uh, so <laughs> we had to try to fulfill that request to the best of our ability. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. So uh, everybody's used to us singing. They're okay with it. So, you know, Mike, what is one of the most inspirational films of all time, would you say? Well, you know, and, and he's got to be an Italian if it's inspirational. Yeah. The Italian stallion, Rocky Balboa. Yes. Come Rocky on. Balboa. And, and that? of all the Rocky movies, which one? I'm just curious what you think, because I have my own opinion, but like which one just gets you? Like it just makes your heart throb. It makes your stomach wrench. It just like gives you the feelings like of tingling and numbness. And like, I don't know. I uh, honestly, I loved Creed. Yeah, that's a good movie. Because you know, there's a Creed two coming out. Yes, and he was. It's just because Rocky's older. He's got it. Kind of. It's just. Uh, it was just awesome. Um, yeah. You know, I'm a diehard Stallone fan. Grew up with like growing up Cobra, Crimes and Disease. I'm the cure. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra, like, like I was a, I was a. Skinny little eighth grader, like skin and everything, and like Sylvester Stallone, Cobra with a toothpick in his mouth, or, or a match, whatever it was. I want to be him. That's awesome. Did I say too much? No, not at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? Best. No, I, I, uh, you know, I'm thinking about all the Stallone movies that I love, and I'm the the one that comes to the top every time is Rocky Four. He fights Dolph Lundgren. He fights the Russians. It's just amazing. Like the the training scene out in the mountains. I don't yes. know. Like hot on fire. Yeah, yes. yes. I want to get rocks and crank them down and get yeah. him. And I love how he lifts up Adrian and and Paulie in the hay cart. But yeah. they're, on the, they're on the end of the hay cart. And, and he just lifts up the front of the hay cart. So physics would tell you that this is not a very difficult thing, but he's yeah. like, <laughs> I, fuck, I, I love it. It's hilarious. Anyway, awesome. so uh, this is my tribute to you, Mark Podolsky. Let's hear it. Hold on, let me get my A. A. Wait, where is it? There it is. Rising up, he quit his job, did his time, took some, took some chances, went the distance and he got on his feet, just a man and his will to survive. So many times it happens too fast, you trade your time for money. Nice. Don't lose your grip on the dreams of the past. You must fight just to keep them alive. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of survival. And the land geek survivor finds his geeks in the night. And yes. he's watching us all with the eye of the tiger. Rock that! <laughs> it's 
the eye of the tiger. Eye of the tiger. That's good. It's good stuff. Well, we got one left. Let's see what we got here. Rocky three was the best, Philip Davis says. That was with Mr. T. You remember that? Oh, pity the fool. Pity the fool. Pity the fool. Um, here we go. You got lots of hats. Lots of hats getting popped up there. You know what? You know what I think tonight? Tonight, everybody's mostly having fun. Like, there's not much seriousness. There's just there's a little bit of seriousness, but not much. Like, and that's what you need in life, right? Like you need to just like lay back and have some fun and sing some karaoke. Christopher Walken couldn't have said it better. Just 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 leave, just leave the land business on the table. <laughs> <laughs> just leave the land business on the table for a night, right? How important is that though? Like, yes. You need to step away, whether it's whether it's uh, multiple times a day, whether it's multiple times a week. You need to leave everything on the table. You need to step away for a while. You need to go have fun. You need to do what you enjoy, whether it's singing or hiking or working out or biking with your wife. You know, it's just I don't know. So that's kind of. I don't know. Tonight, that's kind of how this is. Like, there's not a lot of seriousness going on, but there's a little bit of fun. And uh, I don't know. You need that. Absolutely. What do you think, dude? Let's do the last song. So, All right. Aaron so says, uh, I never thought land could be so much fun. Jeannie, Jeannie Morham says. <laughs> Jeannie, what's up? I hope you like Jeannie, that Brady Bunch because you're part of that Brady Bunch. Jeannie, I have to give you kudos for the picture you posted today on the Facebook group uh, with all of your letters. Oh, I got it right here. Did you see that, Mike? I don't know if you saw it or not, but... I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to pull it up. Is that all right? Yeah, go ahead. You see it? Yes. Look at that. Read right? The quote. Read the quote. I can't see the quote. Oh, you can keep see going. it. Keep going every day. Mailing and marketing keeps showing showing up even when things are great and when nothing is. Keep going. Thanks for the motivation, Mark. Awesome, Jeannie. Great photo. That's an amazing photo, Jeannie. And look at that. She's got. Do you know how much work that is right there, Mike? All right. So think about this. She's got stamps on every right corner of the envelope. She's got return address labels on every left corner of the envelope. Jeannie, Jeannie. Worm, are you hand dressing those envelopes? Ha. like you are after this you're you are taking massive action and you are changing your life without a doubt that's awesome seriously hey listen right. you ready so mark's favorite song no uh, well you <laughs> we, he made a request i couldn't bring kanye west into this i couldn't do it i didn't know how but Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian so, Rhapsody. Bohemian. We're, we're gonna sing this? Just the just the first two lyrics. Just the first two stanzas. How do you say that in in, in uh, song song speak? I have no idea. I don't know. Two verses and the chorus. One verse and the chorus. What's the chorus? Um that's a weird song because I don't know. I really don't know. That song is difficult because I don't know Scatamooch, if they're. Oh, Scatamooch. Danielle Dyball, chime in here if you'd like, but because I know she's the artistic one of the bunch. Is there a chorus in that song? I don't know. It's kind of a, it's kind of an interesting uh, song because they're they're all types of. All right. Well, we're just gonna go with it. Ready? <laughs> Ready? You got this is for Mark Podolsky because he requested it. You got your version? What's that? You got your lyric? You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? I think so. I'm going to give it a shot. Ready? <clears throat> All right. I don't have a little... <laughs> is this the real thing? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide... Time to change my reality. Don't Open like your eyes. Look in the mail and see. 
<laughs> is it a real deal? I need some do re mi because it's easy come, easy go, off or too high, off or too low, any way the deal goes, doesn't really matter to me, to me. That's you, that's you. Bummer just killed a deal. Read the letter and it said, five acres in an HOA, man, it's dead. Mama, the deal had just begun. Now it's gone, I'm so mad at that HOA, oh mama. <laughs> that is awesome. Dude, Mama, epic. so sad it made me cry. If I'm not on my back again this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on. <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to work, but. Oh, no, but that's the way we do it. We redefined it. <laughs> wow, that was high. <laughs> You started that, and I just took off from there. It was high. Dude, you have a great high-pitched voice. I'm a tenor. I don't know I, what that means. You niner? don't know what that means. I, I, I'd be happy being a niner my whole life, but so, you're a tenor. Uh, so there, there's the I bases. I know. I just the tenors. I used to be a bass in high school, and then I they moved me to a tenor, and I don't know. It's funny. I played in, I played sports and never got on base ever. But whatever, dude. That's <laughs> dude, funny. That was, you know what? That was awesome. Um, this was Keep fun. Going. I'm thinking that we may need to do this more often than not. Yeah. Well, you know, it relates. Remember, I always tell people one thing about us: we're all similar. We take our business, you know serious ourselves not so much you know you got to have fun like scott pointed out gonna have days and uh, moments in the day where you just take a break from it all meditate go for a bike ride do some yoga your wife put you through a very intense hit routine whatever it may be <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. it's a high intensity tra interval training and it's not fun oh you have to sing now that's the boot camp tradition Sorry about that. <laughs> My son was calling. But right. uh, take time, smell the roses, but then it reinvigorates you to get back into the business. But when you do the business right, focus on one or two things, deep work, and then break away. Have something that's going to like relax you, refresh you, and go back in. Any yeah, that's good... thoughts, Scott? I don't know. It's just uh, it's all about balance, right? It's about yeah. uh, it's about the good and the bad and ev and everything in between and uh, you, you there's gonna be good and bad and everything in between so you just gotta you gotta take it take it and deal with it so hey dude this was fun that, oh. that was a long episode it was <laughs> I think uh, Orlando live should be musical. Oh, uh, yeah. We should call in uh, Mark Podolsky, Tate Litchfield, Eric Peterson. Maybe Amy Schmidt. Schmidt. All of them. Call them all in and have them sing a song. Yes. What do you think of that? Yes. You didn't say anything about my lighter, by the way. I, I, I know, but I was singing. I was trying to focus. That was amazing. Nothing about my lighter. It, you light up my life. You know, that <laughs> was a song when I was a kid. You light up my life. I forget. That was a great song. All right. Let's 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 check out just a few more comments, maybe. All right. <laughs> they're, they're just not serious tonight. They're just, uh, you know. We have 194 of them. All right. Uh, so Barbara Thibodeau says, it's always fun and informative, but the platform changes. Sometimes more serious. Sometimes guest speakers. Makes it hard to miss. She loves the nightcap. Nice. Barbara, you're awesome. Yeah, and oh, Scott Bossman. I, pro I, I uh, 
when we were on the round table, I, I, I brought it right out. Scott Todd's coming back on this show live because we no, no interpreter needed this time. Because we have a whole new format, right? No interpreter needed. No interpreter needed. We want to see 007 drinking his uh, pina colada. I think next week. Can we promise that to the community? Wow. Next week? Well, I think we could get a... We could probably I, get away with it. I'm gonna we I'm I'm gonna do my best. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna have Scott Todd on the show next week with no interpreter. 007 will be in live drinking a pina colada. That's awesome. Dude, buddy, I had fun tonight. Um it's a little bit unlike me to sing in front of 35,000 people. So you you inspire me. Cheers to you. I had the wrong drink up. Hold on. Here we go. Thank Danielle you. Dieball is still watching. Danielle. Sweet Danielle. Ba, ba, ba. Do you have the outro ready? No, but I will get it ready as you entertain the crowd. My office will be more clean next week, I promise. Ah. All right, here we go. I look forward to the next uh, Nightcap musical. I really do. Well, it was um, very fun. I, I, I learned that uh, you have a great uh, voice. Dude, so do you. Well, thank you. You, you really do. Oh. Your son, Josh, may, must get that from you. He's like a... Rap stop. He's a rap star, dude. No, he makes up things on the fly. He's really good. I was going to get him in here. I almost had him come in at the end to bring in a Kanye West because he can do it on the fly. Oh, uh, okay. So next time, all right? Yes. And you, you should plug him real quick. Does he have like a website or anything? Or Laura, can you post that? Does he have something? I know he has a channel. Laura, you know about that more than I in terms of what it is. I listened to it. He's actually got some really great content. He's a great singer. I'm very proud of him. And an aspiring land investor himself. That's awesome. Yeah, he's posting stuff in the group. That's phenomenal. Josh Zeno, I can't wait to meet you. We'll talk soon. Here comes the outro. Scott, great show. Uh, very impressive. I thought it was a great time. And uh, I don't know what else to say other than time for the outro. It's a good show, dude. Dude, high five to that. Wait a minute. Can you hear it? Yes, <laughs>